Despite the introduction of GDPR legislation, governments and private bodies have been struggling to establish ethical principles that can keep pace with the rate of change in digital technologies. Hosted by ADAPT, the Centre for Digital Technology for Digital Content Technology, global technology experts recently gathered in Dublin to discuss some of these challenges. Drive Time's Della Kilroy reports. I mean, fundamentally, all of these technologies, you know, if you're talking to your, uh, you know, your voice recognising helper at home or on your phone, or if you're, uh, you know, searching for content on the web or having material translated on the web, th- that's all based on, on data that we've used to train AI engines. And if we don't pay really close attention to where that data comes from, we can, you know, introduce biases Professor David Lewis of the ADAPT Centre in Trinity College, which has been studying ethics in technology innovation and research. They're asking questions such as how to address ethical issues around the development of artificial intelligence. You know, so you may, for example, be trying to find information about the role of a doctor, say, perhaps for a a job-seeking application. And a lot of the data that you would typically use for that will tend to make assumptions that, you know, a doctor is more likely to be a man, whereas perhaps a nurse might be more likely to be a woman. And those biases are out there in, in, in our discourse on the web, and we tend to take that data and use it to train these AI engines. But the other thing, I think, to for people to realise is they are also the source of of that data. So there's a lot of concern about, you know, is, is, uh, you know, some of these things listening to our conversations when we don't think they are, you know, who looks after it, who do they share it with? From an ethical point of view, we still want to know that uh, our data is being used for, you know, for things that we're happy with, that meet our expectations of of reasonable behaviour and and, and social norms. Following advances in big data, robotics and scandals like that of Cambridge Analytica, there's been a growing awareness of ethical issues in IT. And on a European level, there's now a committee for ethics in artificial intelligence being set up. From the Netherlands, speaking about some of these changes is Professor Philip Bray, President of the International Society for Ethics and Information Technology. The main attention in IT ethics is still going to privacy. We neglect an enormous amount of other important ethical issues. Artificial intelligence has in principle the capability of making intelligent decisions instead of human beings, so making decisions for us. Uh, For example, uh, one debate is about whether AI in robots in a battlefield should be able to decide between life and death. Do we really want killer robots that, that decide who lives and who dies? There are AI systems that advise and decide about the sentencing people get in the courts. And there have been scandals that some of these systems, they systematically give higher sentences to people that are black. That's a bias in the system then. These biases are hard to figure out because the systems are often very non-transparent how they operate. Then the companies that make that software say, well, it's proprietary software. We cannot disclose how actually it works. So that's a big problem in a democratic society. Speaking about why practice ethics is Robin Wilton, Technical Outreach Director for Identity and Privacy in the Internet Society's Internet Technology Office. I think the ethical issues can be very personal or they can be very large scale social issues. Um, So, for example, we're often told that we live in an information society, but we're not told that most of that information is actually in the hands of third parties. We depend on their good behaviour. Governments are interested in making transactions with government, between government and citizen, identifiable. I think it's really important that that should be necessary and proportionate, that you shouldn't take more data than you need in order to deliver that service. And one of the things in uh, GDPR is this requirement to put privacy by design into your products and services. Um, that applies to governments as well as to commercial organisations, and it means that you shouldn't connect more, collect more data than you actually need. Here's Arturo Calvos, software engineer with Accenture on the business value of ethics. Companies, especially startups, uh, were just focusing on ethics meant being legally compliant. So basically fulfilling all the needs uh, now with uh, GDPR and all these regulations. But uh, now... We can see this trend uh, of uh, taking uh, ethics very seriously. EU organisations now have to be GDP or compliant, but what are the challenges in encouraging ethical standards in business that might not be a legal requirement? We have to acknowledge that uh, 99% of the businesses in the EU 
are small medium sized enterprises. I don't think that uh, regulations is the way to go. One of the main implications of neglecting uh, ethics is that uh, even if you are a hundred year old uh, business uh, with very good reputation, it can uh, disappear and you can uh, get out of business within hours in order to protect the reputation of our business, but as well in order to find this competitive advantage that will help us as well to raise more funding from investors and reach the um, ethically concerned customers. Della Kilroy reporting there.